I want it all. Money, fast cars, diamond rings, gold chains, and champagne. They should every damn thing. I want it all. Houses, expenses, my own business, a truck, and a couple of bitches. I want it all. Money, fast cars, diamond rings, gold chains, and champagne. They should every damn thing. Hey guys, just a quick one here just to teach you how to maximize your Glaco kills per hour. Obviously we pot up. A uh, protect item isn't really needed to be quite honest because you won't die. But if you do try and squeeze out that last kill, obviously you can put it on at the last second. Now, Glacors predominantly start with range, so let's play range. So here we go. No. This method usually yields roughly 50 to 60 kills per hour, which is pretty damn good, really, considering of their combat level and what they can hit. The reason we've got the armor battle staff there is because the way we've set it up, as you can see, fire surge and swarm of armadil is right next to each other. Now you want to attack the enduring once and then move on to the sapping. This is because the sapping can obviously make waste your prayer quite a bit, actually, a lot more than people can. Some people realise. And once we've killed that one, we want to move on to the Enduring when it's roughly 10 to 20 spaces away from the Glacor. And finally, when that's been killed, we just simply move on to the um, Unstable. At this point, you can choose to move closer so you can see the Glacor a bit easier, or if you're in resizable um, mode, then you obviously already can. But I personally don't because, well, it's just personal preference, really. And then we just simply finish off the kill. Now the reason I choose this Glacor is because as you can see right behind me is a second one. So I personally, as soon as one's down, turn round, start hitting the other and loot. I hope this guide helped and yeah, please comment and subscribe.